Hello, I'm Richard Lawson and this is my lecture on diagnostic accuracy. In part one I'm going to give an introduction to the topic and explain what I will cover in the following parts. In hospitals we perform diagnostic tests in order to find out whether the patient has got a particular disease or not. We perform the test and if we get a positive result we say yes they have the disease and if we get a negative result we conclude no they don't have the disease. But the real question is how often is this result correct? That's what I'm interested in when we're discussing diagnostic accuracy. How often the test result is correct. So in the following sections I will be talking about how we assess diagnostic tests. In part two I'll cover the topics of prevalence and accuracy and in part three I'll talk about sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value and negative predictive value. Those may well be terms that you've seen in the scientific literature and I hope to explain what they mean. In part four we'll be extending that to look at topics of verification bias and how we can extrapolate to different populations. In part five of this lecture I'll talk about tests which have variable outcomes and in particular I'll deal with something called the ROC curve. In part six I'll talk about how we define a good test and distinguish between screening tests and diagnostic tests. In part seven I'll talk about combining different tests by explaining things like the likelihood ratio and the odds ratio and explain the Bayes theorem. And finally in part eight I'll show how we can compare tests using diagnostic value. So that's the end of this introduction.